Hi, welcome to the Fabric Studio. Today we're going to take a look at some magical things you can do with your photos and the repeat um, ability of the software. Now, I opened a, um, a photo right into my software, and if you notice, this is pretty high contrast photo, which makes it easy for me to demonstrate this technique. We're going to be using your magic wand, and when you click on your magic wand, you're going to see there's a selection mode, there's a flood mode, and then there's tolerance. We're going to be working with the selection mode and tolerance bar today. Now normally when you open the software it's going to be at 50 and most of the time 50 will work but if you need to hone in a little bit more on an area you want to delete and then replace you're going to be moving that bar down to 40 or 30. Sometimes you have to experiment. So let's go ahead and click on the area and it pretty much selected everything I want. Now I'm going to take my delete button and I'm going to delete out that background image. Now again, one more time, I'm going to use my magic wand and click on any area in which I want the software to do the repeat in. I'm going to go to the autofill function of the software. I'm going to go in. I'm going to this time go into my contemporary library, take a look at what image I want and I'm going to click on black floral center. Hit OK. Once it's done, I'm going to hit enter and my photo has been totally changed and you get a really neat, cool image. Now, um, this can be done in multiple parts. If I wanted to go in and change the hat or I wanted to go in and change the coat, you can do that also. So let's take a look at the next photo. Now this photo is a little bit not as distinct, so I think this time I'm going to need to use my magic wand. And if you see, when I click on it, it's taking too large an area. I'm going to hit Control Z and get back, and I'm going to start moving down my tolerance bar. And this time I'm going to go down to 40, re-click, um, and it looks like this time it took just enough of what I might want to take out. I might want to um, leave it like that and then hit enter. All right, um, Or I might want to take it down a little bit more, down in the 30 range, and maybe take out this area the first time and do some fun stuff. Again, I'm going to click on this area. I'm going to go to my autofill function of the software. I'm going to go in and pick out a graphic I might want to use as the background. Remember, it always remembers the last thing that you've selected. In this case, I'm going to pick my chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum teal and do one that way and hit enter. Now this time, I'm going to go back to my background layer. I'm going to try my magic wand on this area and maybe another area. Go back in, use my autofill, and this time I'm going to pick a different color. I'm going to take my and pick a dark blue for this one. So you see um, what wonderful um, creative things you can do with the Fabric Studio software. Um, it's, it's fun, you need to play around with it, and you can get great effects into your photographs.